Hi, it's my time to shine. I'll be covering the Sagittarius reading for the first weekend in January 2021. I don't know. I got these cards again. You are the take will resonate and be the rest. Something took me right back to Illuminati Tarot. So I'm going to use the same cards. But these cards must be in a good energy. Mmm. The King of Swords reverse came out. Somebody mad about something. Okay. We're going to see what's going on with my Sagittarius for the first week of January. See what's going on to them. We just got out of that season, out of their season. Let's see what they up to. I will be selling spiritual oils to cleanse hexes, to love oils, to money manifestation, to fame, to a lot of, lot of different things, which I specify. Once I get all of them, I'm going to start promoting them. I'm making me an online page. These will range from $15 up to $100, depending what you um, will want and what type of oil we are doing. I'm going to be dealing with a distributor, a manufacturer company that's kind of very high in demand. I'm going to be dealing with these. They all natural herbs, different types, spiritual. They've been prayed, meditated over. It takes a while for you to get these. These is not something where as though you just throw them in a bottle and say this, that. No, this come with a lot, as you can see, um, everything that's in it. So, I just wanted that to be noted. I'm going to see the overall energy for my Sagittarius, and then I'm going to move forward. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. Crack the fuck up. Capricorn energy. You got family, money, everything in order. That's just what I'm seeing. So, we're going to see what's the energy. Universe, spirit, God, holy angel. What is the energy surrounding my Sagittarius? For the first week of January weekend. Okay. One card. Even though I seen that. Which the King of Swords reverse came out anyway. What is the energy? What is the energy? What is the energy? For my Sagittarius. For the end. Of 2020, 2020 to 2021. I can't believe it's almost over. See what I mean? How them cars fly? So if I was in my new chair I bought the day that slide, I'd have been good. I'd have just slid and got it. Cracked the hell up. But I'm not. <laughs> the fuck? That's the thing. I didn't put that chair yet because I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. All right. Well, this mm, what fell first. I'm not sure, but okay. The first card and all five of your cards came out too. So I think these cards is in a good spirit right now. So we're going to just roll with them for right now. You got the King of Swords in your past. This is somebody that's got the King status. Somebody that cut through bullshit with truth and clarity. It's like it was something, some lies that made you upset in the past. You got the Four of Cups reversed. This is where your emotions is spilled out. You're not even seeing that the um, Divine is handing you a cup. It's like something is literally on your mind. Um, this is Scorpio Pisces Cancer Energy. Present. Near future, you have the Page of Wands. Um, somebody young not making something happen. Or not something that's not happening like you want it to happen. But you also got, for your future, you got the moon and some things hitting that you don't see right now. And maybe things that's not happening because... It's a situation because you're not seeing things clearly like I just was telling a Sagittarius that's going to listen to this and say some slick shit in their brain. But I literally said that if things not working out and it's, it's things you're not seeing right now from the divine 
why it's not working out how you want it to work out is not your timing. It's divine timing. But I see for your overall outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. You're just focusing on manifesting your money. You building your money. You making your money. Whatever you got to do has got to do with your money. You're focusing on your financial at this time for 2021. So it's like even y'all reading with Pisces. It's just like y'all y'all reading is just coming out flowing. So when it's coming out flowing, I don't I don't go ahead and clarify because there's nothing to clarify. Now, what I can clarify before I use the oracles for you is the moon. I will clarify and see what's coming up with that. What's the energy surrounding the moon? For my Sagittarius, please. For the first weekend of January. Mm, Ace of Swords could be some type of lie. Could be a surgery as well, but... With this, the way it's going, it's some type of lie that you don't see, that you don't got truth and clarity for right now. So that's why something's not happening. I'm going to leave that there. And you already know what you're dealing with. See, something's hidden from you. You don't see it. That's why things is not going as planned. You don't see something. So don't, mm -mm. in other words, me personally, I'm not going to say don't make no move. I'm going to let the cards decide that for you. I'm going to get with this oracle here, because this ain't a love reading. This is just something on your mind. You got a lot on your mind, and you're not thinking clearly about situations. And I don't think a lot of Sagittarius is right now. I'll keep that shit 100. So, I'm going to give you this oracle, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to give you moon a lot. Moonology. Like, sociology, moonology. And see what the moons and stars are saying for you. Maybe you help you figure out some things more clearly because something definitely is hidden from you. You don't see that, and that's in your future. What does the universe have to say for Sagittarius at this time for 2021? What's the energy for Sagittarius at this time for 2021? You got two come cards come out. First card is is waiting, sacrifice, pending decision. So this could be a legal situation you wait for, but this is like divine timing when you see this you know that when you turn it around it takes its time and it's like you're waiting for something you pending some type of decision that could be anything but at the end of the day you waiting for something it's a sacrifice you just in waiting and sometimes you just gotta wait that's why in your present energy it seems like you got a lot on your mind maybe you waiting for something but listen it's divine timing you also got this reverse moving traveling travel leaving something behind this reverse is you're not moving you're not traveling you're not leaving something behind so it's just not the time because this is reverse and that maybe was hidden and that's means some lies that you just don't see right now and that's why it's hitting by the moon and things is not moving as you want to make things happen it's not working right now it's not going to work just focus on your pinnacles is what it's saying for your overall energy i'm going to leave it right there you know what i mean and let you figure out the rest but Stop trying to make too many moves. When it's time, it's going to be time. You won't know it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see what Moonology for uh, my moon cards. Oh, they flew all over. They ready to. And see what comes out. And then I'm going to, you know, end the reading. I ain't going to make it longer than what it is. What is... Damn, three cards came out. I'm taking them four. Hey. Okay. First card, what do you need to release? Whining moon. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. So you got to release something and you make the first move, which you are doing. Or maybe you ain't doing. The energy is gaining momentum. Take time to breathe out. Right. Like you sitting here, you worrying about so much, you, you trying to make, make too many moves. Just relax is what it's telling you. Relax. So with that, I'm leaving you reading, Sagittarius. Have a happy new year. Stay safe. Don't drink and drive. Stay home if you can. Stay protected. And I hope a 2021 come in great for you. And peace, light, and blessings to all.